the agenda is to look at our settings for the iPhone 11, 12, 13, and 14. My name is Adobe. Welcome to my channel. It looks really good, but it takes up so much space. So, so much space. But it is very, very beautiful and very high quality. Now, before we enter preserve settings, I need to explain something to you to make it make sense. When it comes to setting your exposure correctly, there are three things you need to balance in order to have a properly exposed image and their names are shutter speed iso and aperture these three things are in a love triangle called the exposure triangle when you set your frame rate one of them is fixed that's the shutter speed it is spoken for we can't do anything about it we are left with two things now to work with long story short you need at least two things to balance the exposure the brightness and the shadows and everything that is in your shots when all these controls are off in preserve settings especially the exposure adjustments you miss one of two things you could use to set your exposure correctly with the iphone you'll be left with just one way to control the light which is to lock the camera like i showed you when you turn it on you'll see in a minute that it gives you two ways to manipulate exposure so now let's go back into the phone and also like this video because i heard doing that helps with the youtube algorithm me i don't know let's try to see if it's true let's go back and turn on exposure adjustment and creative controls as well at the top right there is a yellow scale there balanced at zero when you tap on it it opens up an exposure dial or exposure scale the negatives is a darker image or a lower exposure and the positives is a higher exposure you can set it to maybe 0.7 or 0. Point, minus 0. 0.7 or minus 0. 0.3 now you can use locking your automatic exposure to further improve the look of your image in terms of exposure so you tap on it the sand dial comes again you lock it and then you dial it up to increase or down to deep you can balance it in a way that looks aesthetically pleasing i love the low exposure you can use one to set your white balance and then use the other to balance the rest of the exposure i love this it applies in the 11 the 12 the 13 and the 14. to be fair when you open settings and turn off your controls and then you go back to camera when you go to photo you can access this triangle up top when you come here you would see most of the controls down here so your flash night mode live your aspect ratio whether you want 16 by 9 or square and you realize that it has gone back to 4 by 3 because our creative controls is off you find exposure here and then you can manipulate that but once you switch to video you lose that arrow on top that gives you access to the controls so you can only get those controls when you turn it into landscape mode. and once you tap on exposure this also comes on as well when you close it the scale gets lost so you want to go back to your settings turn on creative controls and exposure adjustment we go back into camera and you see it's here whether or not you are in landscape mode or you are in 9 by 16 tiktok mode or portrait mode so you tap on this and the exposure scale comes up and you can use it however you want it would always be there even when you close it it comes up so it gives you access so even though you can get this turning on your creative controls and exposure adjustment in your preserve settings is far better than leaving it off so going back to preserve settings i turn on creative controls because it's annoying to me when i always have to go to the little arrow at the top to come and choose the Instagram story or TikTok or Reel or YouTube Shorts format. So I keep that on so that when I move it to the TikTok Instagram Reels format, it stays that way even when I close the camera. When I open it again, you realize that it takes me back to this. So it preserves the last settings I use. And so in, as soon as I open my phone, I'm ready to go. Come on, when I turn it off because there are times when I thought I was taking a video, but I just taking a photo and I kept talking because I was using the back camera and I had no idea that it wasn't recording because the last time I used the camera, I used the photo mode and not the video mode. And so I took a picture of the very first frame and I kept talking for about 30 minutes. So I personally like to turn it off it should set everything to photo and then i will choose video or photo or slow motion or panorama or whatever mode of camera i want when i want because that was a total waste of time i like to keep the portrait zoom on and the live photo on as well night mode i really do not care for it 
you can turn it on if you want but i personally do not care for it we have sorted our resolution and frame rate and we have sorted our exposure and we've also sorted out our composition now let's look at smart hdr i'm sure a lot of you are wondering what is smart hdr the newer models you might see something called hdr video or video hdr hdr is basically going to give you more details in your shadows and in your highlights that's your deepest darks and your brightest whites or brights or lights let me put it that way ideally it's supposed to help with the quality of your videos because you're getting more detail in your footage i've not seen it change anything it doesn't really make a big difference to me with 13 as well you have the cinematic mode when you swipe across to cinematic you realize on the top of the screen somewhere on the top of the screen or just look at the outskirts but it should be on your top right and f inside a circle when you tap on it you get a scale similar to the exposure scale that came up move that do you notice how your background keeps blurring and the intensity of the blur keeps moving tap on your image and lock exposure that action of locking your exposure also locks your focus so focus on the thing you want to focus on lock it and then now move the f scale to increase or reduce the amount of blur that you have in the background that also helps with the feel and look of your video as well prioritize faster shooting prioritizing prioritizing for oh <laughs> prioritizing faster shooting from what i read here is going to compromise my image quality and i don't want that so i'll turn it off macro control this helps you switch between the macro lens and your regular lens you can leave it on but it is a matter of preference look at what feels right or feels like a nuisance to you and then act accordingly leave your questions in the comments below it could be the next topic for discussion let's make it to 500 subscribers before the end of march that will make me very happy and i'll see you in the next one bye